Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's 11.32 on Wednesday. I am headed to Mr. Shwarma. Didn't even know it existed. I'm meeting Nubia for lunch and I usually have her choose. She obviously knows more restaurants than I do. So she suggested that and I looked it up and it looks delicious. And I'm pretty hungry because I got up this morning and decided to eat light so I had oatmeal for breakfast and that was it knowing that I was going to go and gorge myself during lunch here. So I'm just going to hang out here for a few minutes until Nubia gets here. Then I'm going to snarf shawarma. That was, that was a mouthful. I didn't get that on one take. <laughs> okay, let's hear it for Mr. Shawarma. You're going to be on video. <laughs> All right, so there's Nubia. We both basically got the same thing. I just sort of went with her lead, and I'm going to eat the shit out of this now. Oh, okay, that was a delicious lunch, albeit spicy. Even she said that the sauce was spicier than it was the last time. And I didn't realize, I just put everything in it. So it was basically a shawarma bowl. And it was very, very good though. Uh, uh, other than, you know, the fact that I was like frothing at the nose because the sauce was way hotter than anything that I would like. So note to self, if I go to Mr. Shawarma, no red sauce. So probably just going to go home. It's 120. And then I'll go to three ships. Yay! You're shit in your eye. cookie. Here we have a cherry matcha. So an iced cherry matcha with almond milk. See that? Oh, yummy. Oh, so good. Okay, something's becoming very evident to me that this Interrail thing, I'm going to have to, somehow I'm going to have to tighten this son of a bitch down really tight because this lens is so heavy that it starts creeping down like this and that ain't cool do not like that i'm either going to have to take that off and put something else down but i don't know i mean because even if i put like one of those uh f38 ball heads on there it's gonna stick up even higher so many issues wham i just can't seem to get anything on here that that is perfect yet and i thought that this ruby grid thing would be good because it would be clamp down to the damn dashboard and it wouldn't move and I wouldn't have any issues and any jiggling or any of that shit but I, I just can't seem to get the right device to hook that shit up to to get it to work correctly the way that I would like all right that's enough let's go deliver some bean okay so what I did was I went back to old tricks and I dug out in the magical drawers upstairs this round clamp base that I have that also allows you to turn it 360 degrees and then I just put one of the new F38 clamps on it and now I'm good to go and I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there and now it's clamped down as far forward as I can get it so I can still access this screwy part here that allows this to spin and then that's the F38 clamp that I keep talking about and now there's more than enough distance up there to clear that so that I'm not hitting the rear view mirror. And now I can put this on here and I can get, you know, my queen and I in here if I want to. So there, that's at 16 millimeters with active stabilization on, directly centered and pointing straight out. Look at how much I've got in here. More than enough for, for either one of us to be in the shot. I'm glad that I keep all this shit <laughs> so that I can repurpose it when I come up with new fangled ideas on how to do things. Okay, there we go. We're all done now. That was relatively easy. It just took me a minute to find this stupid thing because uh, I thought that I put it downstairs in the magical drawers down here in the garage, but it was upstairs. So I got that plus the new F38 clamp, and now we're done. We're going to go inside. All right, kids, so it's now 627. Here I am. I'm waving this thing around here. This is my Mantis Pod. I think it's Mantis Pod 2. And then I put the Falcam F38 ball head up there with the, you know, with the quick release. Now here's the thing. I also have this Sure carbon fiber tripod that I also have a Falcam F38 ball head on. This isn't all that much heavier than this. I mean, they're, they're pretty equal. I can get a good grip on this. I can get a good grip on that. The one thing about this that this doesn't have is that this has, you push this in and then you can adjust where this head goes and it makes it very convenient. 
this doesn't have that, I would have to unscrew the ball head and, and move it around. Now, I don't move it all that much. I mean, if I'm holding this, it's always in the same place. If I set it down on the table, yeah, I might have to move it a little bit. How hard is it to untwist a knob, you know? I don't know. The thing about ball heads, though, is that if you twist them tight and untwist them, and you keep doing that, over time, they get looser. You know, they're not as tight as they used to be. Now, the advantage that this has is that I can extend it out that much more. Sometimes that's pretty convenient. I don't know. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. So I've been going back and forth on whether or not I want to continue using the, the Mantis Pod 2.0 or if I want to use the Su-Ray. And I've kind of switched back and forth. The other thing that I have is that Sony Bluetooth grip that has like a ridiculously long freaking model number and I'm never going to remember it. It's the Bluetooth grip. That is good for smaller cameras. The problem is, and here's the problem that goes for most devices like that, <clears throat> is that this, this one doesn't have any play, but the Sony one, like if you have this locked in place, this will jiggle back and forth from this fitting right here. And no matter how tight, because it's got a little screw in there, no matter how tight you put that son of a bitch, it will not hold tight. It will always have just a little bit of play. I tightened it so much that I actually broke it. And now once I get it to the super tight spot, it goes past it now. I'm not going to spend another hundred something bucks or however the hell much that thing is on it though, because it's not worth it. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here about what to use. This FX3 with the 16 to 35 G Master version two, in addition to the Hollyland mic on the top, the cage, and it's gonna have a cage. I don't wanna hear it. It's heavy. It's, it's a much heavier setup. That doesn't bother me. That keeps the micro jitters down, but it does make a difference then on what kind of a grip that you can use it with. And also, like you saw in the Forerunner, when I had it on that Interal thing, the weight of the lens started tipping it. So, you know, when I had that pivot point, it started going forward like this, and then I would have to take it and push it back. So every time I hit a bump, boom, 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 it kept moving. That's why I got rid of that. I've eliminated that problem now by putting the old little spinny base on there, and it doesn't have any of that play. This is the problem with gear. This is the problem with influencers. This is the problem with commercialism, is that there are a billion products out there. Once one person comes up with something, then you get all the knockoffs. Now that's not always necessarily a bad thing because it keeps the prices down, but more often than not, you get what you pay for. If you get a knockoff, if you get some cheap piece of crap off of Amazon, because it's like, hey, this thing's only eight bucks. If I got the freaking Sony one, it's, it's like 180. Well, get prepared to buy about 50 of those $8 ones. You know, like that's just the way it goes. You're rarely ever going to get a cheap knockoff that's better than the original. And if you know me at all, you know that I don't have a problem spending money on something that's good. If there's one thing I've learned in life, pay the extra money to get something good or you're gonna pay twice because you're gonna buy the cheap piece of shit and it's gonna break or it's not gonna work and then you're just gonna have to go out and buy the, the good one again. Now you've bought the damn thing twice. So let that be your lesson. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. That's all you get for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, well, word up.